What's up? So I just wanted to take a moment to reflect on uh, life uh, around this time last year uh, I was frantically searching for a side job because uh, due to some unfortunate circumstances I, I was rather close to uh, homelessness, although I am lucky to have somewhat of a support group and family to help me out in that situation. And uh, it's just funny for me to contrast <clears throat> where I was four or five years ago when I started this journey and the ups and downs that I've been through um, even this year and uh, the offers that I have just recently received. I, I won't go into specific details, but I was contacted by two of the largest tech companies in the world. Um, in the previous eight days and uh, you know it hasn't exactly been a, a great year in many ways because uh, uh, recently a, a publishing deal fell through for me which was quite a disappointment and uh, I was in a work situation over the summer which was very negative and took a toll on my health um, so contrasting that with uh, my current situation, <laughs> it's very clear to me that um, life and success and things like that, <sighs> to be honest, the, the thing that started me on this journey of learning Android development was that I read an article by this guy who I don't really hold in very high regard who wrote a blog that basically <clears throat> explained to people how to make how to be making four hundred thousand dollars a month by paying people in India to build apps for you and this is something that he apparently did uh, whether or not that's true I couldn't verify and while I wasn't interested in paying other people to do my work for me I uh, I did read that article and think, well, you know, four years ago I, I thought to myself, yeah, I, I could use $400,000 a month, and uh, but I'd like to learn how to build the apps myself instead of paying other people to do it. Well, that article is absolute nonsense. Um, there are stories, there, there are people who through some kind some combination of luck and and great effort do get success very quickly in, in a matter of even months sometimes um, I was never that never happened for me ever um, my own personal development has always been slow and while there were good moments in between, quite painful in many ways. Uh, part of that also might be my personality. I, I just naturally am quite cynical, um, <laughs> to be honest. But while the offers I w was given are no guarantee of anything, because um, I, you know, could still do very poorly in. Uh, technical interviews or, or what have you. Um, the fact that I was given these offers was a special moment for me because I had a hypothesis um, when I started this journey of teaching myself to program, which was that uh, <clears throat> even though I don't 
really consider myself to be the uh, fastest mind or hardest worker or anything of the sort. Certainly when I began this journey, um, my hypothesis was if, e even though I, for example, I, I will never reach the depth of understanding of knowledge and mathematics and computing, well, maybe computing uh, just by advantage of technology, that John von Neumann had, or uh, Janos Neumann, I believe was his birth name. Uh, if you've never heard of John von Neumann, he's uh, certainly one of the greatest intellects of the 20th century uh, and is responsible for computers in many ways. Um, although several individuals, including Ada Lovelace and uh, Turing and several others, um, laid much of the found foundation for modern computers, it was John von Neumann who designed the von Neumann architecture. So I knew that I would, n I just don't possess the same level of intellect that John von Neumann had and I had some doubts around that because uh, I, I wanted to either be a physicist or a uh, well being a programmer was something I thought about later in life but I had this hypothesis which was that even though I, I can't necessarily reach the same depth depth as those individuals um, if I do study the same topics almost every day for years at a time there will reach a point when I might actually be quite good or relatively knowledgeable in those fields now I didn't know this it, it was an assumption on my part and it required a certain amount of faith uh, to, to buy into that idea and Again, although the offers I've received are, are not necessarily uh, guaranteed or in anything of the sort, the fact that I am starting to have certain doors open themselves uh, as opposed to seeking them out does indicate to me that my hypothesis that the most important thing for a person to do if they want to be successful and successful is something which is defined very differently by different people um, there's really only two things you need to do um, you need to try and put forth effort uh, usually every day and the part that I was quite poor at was to be patient with yourself because um, in my case, I've been doing this for almost five years now. I've tasted disappointment and failure more times than I can count, far more times than any level of success that I've achieved. And the only thing which really allowed me to get through all of that almost seemingly endless disappointment was to just remind myself that if nothing else, if I can become the kind of person who is able to put forth effort every day, then that is quite possibly the most important skill I will ever develop. And even if it doesn't end up with me uh, necessarily reaching exactly the goals that I wanted, the financial goals in particular, um, I'll, I'll be prepared to be a person who can put forth great amounts of effort and hopefully to have the patience to endure that because uh, it can be difficult to study every day. So um, I just wanted to share this moment because uh, Um, 
I one of the things I did imagine many years ago is that eventually if I was good enough at what I do the sign that that would the the sign that I could be finally really quite content with these principles would be when I start to get approached by companies that would only approach me if I have some perceived value. Uh, so I, I'm not letting my ego go crazy over it because um, what none of these people who are contacting me know is what, what my life is like and what I've been through this year. Um, and all of that really precludes me from, protects me from getting totally lost in egoism about the situation. But um, it is somewhat of an uh, empirical evidence to say that uh, I've at least made it somewhere. I am at least of enough value and expertise to want to be approached by big companies. So anyways, I'm not going to go into any details, and this is really all I wanted to share in my voice-cracking, uh, exhausted, low-budget, rambly, unscripted video, but uh, I just want to remind everyone you, you're going to be told all kinds of things. You, you may be like me, you may have grown up with an abusive individual who uh, treated you as less than human. Um, you may run into people like the fellow who wrote that blog who told me that I would be making $400,000 within six months if I just followed his magical plan of success. And in my experience in life, I, I feel as though I now have fairly empirical evidence for myself, and I don't care to actually convince you of this, that the actual thing, two things you need to do to move forward in life is to learn to put forth effort and to be patient with yourself, because uh, I, I really am not a genius. I have many bad days. I'm quite a negatively motivated individual. Uh, in my videos, I'm very often playing a stage character, which is something that I have come to be quite good at when I need to be. And uh, yeah, it's, it's all bullshit except for effort and patience. So that's it. Um, I wish you luck on your path. I don't know what this rambling was about, but uh, my teachers taught me these things, and it's I I owe them a lot, and I just wanted to share the those two lessons because. Uh, really the only lessons that haven't failed me in my life. So, that's it. And now we dance. Have a good one.